think there's a lot of misunderstanding about China's strategy and President Trump's strategy. They actually understand each other pretty well. The Chinese have shown admiration and respect for President Trump in various ways. They're a little concerned, having translated the art of the deal in Beijing, hmm. that he's going to get the best of them. And there's a good chance there'll be an agreement long before the 2020 election. So I'm more on the bullish side that this would be a buying opportunity when the market is low. I think the Chinese-American understanding over the last year and a half or so has been very intense. These talks with 30 Chinese flying here, our team flying over there. They, Kelly, they produced a 150-page secret agreement that nobody's seen. Hmm. All anybody knows on the outside is how close everybody's come. Right. Uh, and President Trump has several times now said he greatly respects the Chinese economy. Right now, the clip you just played, of course, he's playing them down a little bit. But what he's been saying is if Hillary Clinton had won, China would surpass America while Hillary was president. And it's not going to happen on his watch. In other words, he sees the Chinese economy as closing in on our own. Okay. And some, and some indicators, Kelly, purchase what they call purchase power parity, if right. you're really a policy wonk. Mm -hmm. You know what that is. China surpassed us in that two year, three years ago. That they're so, 21 trillion, we're 19 trillion in so-called so PPP. Right here, that's I a mean, term to show off. You know, if you want to say you're a real <laughs> economist, you know about yeah. PPP. <laughs> Here's my real question, though. Sure. Um, so we we talk about the main, and, and Secretary Mnuchin said this as well earlier this year. He said we got 90 percent of the way there, but the last 10 percent is the hardest part because yes. we're talking about potentially trying to change China's behavior as it regards state-owned enterprises, intellectual property, and other really important issues. Are right. you telling us you really think a deal that includes those terms and enforcement is still possible? Yes. Uh, the Chinese have been very, very specific that what they hate the most about the draft deal that they sort of reneged back in early May, they hate the part where it's legally binding and there'll be a system that they more or less agreed to and now they've backed out of perhaps out of fear. There'll be a system to punish them if they're caught in violations. For example, if a company, American company, suffers uh, theft of intellectual property or is forced to transfer technology, they can report that now through a system the Chinese agreed to with an appellate body and then a final decision, put tariffs or other kinds of punishment on the Chinese who did that. This has never been done before by any country in the world. But if they hate so, that draft, why would they agree to it? <laughs> I think you know very well in bargaining sometimes the two sides can put pressure on each other and finally the pain becomes unbearable. Uh, President, I think, believes that perhaps even more pressure is going to be needed than what he's put on already. But we'll see in, in September when the Tariff next round pressure? happens. Yeah. There's a lot more things the president can do. He's been, I think, personally, he's been very restrained in what he's done. Um, he was quite tolerant about some things in the, in the negotiations. I don't think he's a super hawk. The, the President Trump, who I have obviously talked to, I think he has a vision of U.S.-China relations improving and a higher level of trade between both sides, higher level of investment in both sides. But two things have to stop. One is the cheating. I think he has a sense, and it's, it's in one of his books, he has a sense that China has cheated its way to the top. Okay. They have more, they have more yeah. billionaires than we have now. So we've got to end the cheating. It may not be President Xi who's behind it, you know, he's been very careful to say mm -hmm. China's doing this, but the implication is not my friend, President Xi. So the other thing that's got to stop is this growth rate being three times or four times faster than us. So the president's trying to bring up America's growth rate with various initiatives like the tax cuts. Yeah. But he also has got to make sure that China doesn't cheat its way to the top and surpass us. They have more billionaires than we, they have more manufacturing than we do, they have their higher trading company, yep, we country. And so we this has all got to stop.